Hey everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters, and I'm going to do a What's Sold on eBay video today. So I haven't been doing these for a while, so I'm really behind, and so my thought was, since it's the end of May, and I left off for the beginning of February, that I'll just do these kind of quick. I'm not going to share a whole lot of detail about these items. I'm just going to kind of blow through them, and I'm going to try to get three or four of these posted kind of rapid fire here in the next few days, um, if my internet connection will cooperate with me. Okay, so here's my spreadsheet for the second half of February. Um, this is some of my sales. It's not all of them, but it's it's the interesting ones. And the better profits. So I have 22 sales that I'm about, that I'm going to show you from the second half of February. And I'll go away. My total cost on these items was $87 plus sales tax. They sold for $910.55. I collected $145 in shipping and handling. I spent $130 on shipping and handling labels. But after you figure the PayPal and eBay fees taken out of this amount, I really only had $128.50. So I did pretty good. Um, I like to keep these two numbers pretty close to each other. And then this number is my eBay fees on those items, my final value fees. This number is my PayPal fees. There's two columns here because I was having a heck of a time trying to figure out how to include the 30 cent PayPal transaction fee in the same column without having it populate like all the way down and messing up my um, PayPal charges and messing up my profit and everything else. So I just put two columns and then they get added together up here. So that's how that works for me. Um, then my profit for these items was $689.61. Um, like I said, there's 22 items. So that's that. Let's get started. All right. So this is a pair of Southampton prescription eyeglasses. These are used prescription eyeglasses that somebody will have to um, change the lenses in. I find these at thrift stores and things. Um, Southampton is the name brand on them, and they sold for $25 plus shipping, so my profit on those was $16.59. This is an Oakley case. It's just the case, no um, sunglasses or anything with them. I paid a dollar for this case, and it sold for $9.95. So my overall profit after fees and costs and everything was $7.04. I buy eyeglass cases, empty eyeglass cases for two reasons. One, sometimes they sell. And I have sold eyeglass cases um, anywhere up from, you know, 5 or $6 to about 30 or $35 even sometimes if they're something that people are really looking for. Um, and then another reason why I buy them is so that if I find a pair of prescription eyeglasses that are for example, Vogue, and I have a Vogue eyeglass case, I can kind of pair them together, and that just makes the, I think, I feel like it makes it more appealing, and it's just kind of fun to do it that way, too. I like to find eyeglass cases that match whenever possible. Just kind of a, um, a side hobby, I guess. Something to keep it interesting. All right, and then here's another empty eyeglass case that sold for eleven ninety five. also paid a dollar for this one, and my profit was $8.80. And then one more eyeglass case I'll show you here is a Mikita. Um, this one I paid a dollar for, and it sold for twelve ninety five. So my profit there was ten dollars and twelve cents. Okay, so here is a pillow. This is just a small square throw pillow. It was Pier One. It was like new, perfect condition. Um, the reason why I wanted to show this item was because I had really messed up on the shipping, and even though it was a pillow, it was still. I think eight or nine dollars to ship it. I forget exactly, but it was, you know, it was, a, I would say eight dollars at least, probably more. And um, I accidentally had selected Media Mail as one of the options, so of course they chose that because it was the cheapest. And sometimes that happens to me when I'm um, creating the listings. I might choose some different things and it changes back on me or something, anyways. So just double check that and keep an eye on those kind of things because that did end up costing me a little bit. Um, I still made a profit though, so it wasn't that too big a deal. Um, I paid three dollars for this pillow. It sold for nineteen ninety five, and my overall profit after all the fees and shipping was six dollars and eighty two cents. 
So at least I got my money back and it's gone, so I'm happy. All right, this is a vintage photo of a church. Um, I found several photo albums and boxes full of these old prints and they were original prints and so I listed some of them. I still have a lot to list too, but they sell, they don't sell quickly, but they sell, you know, eventually. And I have sold some prints for, I think up to like $30, I sold a print. So they do sell, they could be profitable. They're easy to sh ship, they're easy to store. There's really no cost because that store is doing well paid for itself just by selling one or two items out of it. Um, so my profit on this was $3.74. All right, this is an Amida bracelet, also known as a Damascene. Um, kind of these oriental scenes in this black enamel with this gold and silver, really pretty. So I got this at an estate auction and I ended up paying $1.25 for it. Um, it sold for $32.95 plus shipping and my profit after all fees and costs was $28.61. Alright, and this is a vintage stock market game from 1968. I paid 50 cents for this game. It sold for $29.95 plus shipping and my profit was $25.41 after every all the fees and costs. This is a pair of Revo prescription sunglasses. So these did have prescription lenses in them. I paid $4 for the the eyeglasses in the case together, they did have a case that matched. Um, these sold for $63.71 on sale, so my profit was $51.61. And here's a pair of vintage Ralph Lauren prescription eyeglasses that I paid $3 for. They did sell for a best offer of $30, and so my profit was $23.20. All right, and here is a vintage Bible. This is a 1972 Bible. Um, it was in really nice condition, other than it had a name um, marked on the front there. It didn't have any other markings or names or anything written inside of it. Um, I paid $3 for this Bible. It sold for $24.95 plus shipping, and my profit was $19.14. Here's a pair of Charmant prescription eyeglasses. These were the Charmant Z. I paid $1.75 for these, including the case. They sold for $74.95, so my profit was $63.93. And here's a Harley Davidson sun visor that I paid a dollar for at the Goodwill. It sold for $16.95, so my profit was $13.97. Here's a pair of vintage Chanel prescription eyeglasses, or sunglasses rather. These I paid $10.75 for. I purchased a lot of Chanel eyeglasses online, and I think there was eight or nine different pairs, and a couple of them weren't really resellable, so out of the ones that were resellable, I just figured that I paid about $10.75 per frame. And these sold on sale for $33.96, um, my profit was $18.15. This was definitely the, um, the lowest price that I got for any of the pairs of Chanel glasses, though. The other ones sold for, um, a lot more. I know some of them sold for 50 and I think one pair sold for 80 or 90 so it was definitely worth, uh, I definitely made my money back on that lot, for sure. Even though I paid a little bit more for those. Okay, and here is an IBM typewriter. This was a big, huge electric typewriter. It was called a Wheel Rider by Lexmark. Wheel Rider 1000. Let's see if I can find a better picture. But it, it came with the cover and the book and some extra ink, and it worked really nice. Um, it was big and heavy, like I said. But I paid $21.85 for this typewriter at an estate auction. And it sold for $174.95. It did sell pretty quickly. I think it took maybe two or three weeks to get my um, asking price. So my profit after all that was $123.74. All right, here's one of my favorite pairs of eyeglasses to find. <laughs> These are those Silhouette Rimless Hingeless prescription frames. And they're just real lightweight, real thin. Um, I find these just like thrown into um, big boxes full of junky sunglasses and things like they're just garbage and I usually pay a dollar or two for them. I've sold several of these pairs of eyeglasses. This pair here 
I paid $3 for these. There was a case to go with them. I had to have a case. I probably paid $2 for the case and a dollar for the frames or vice versa. And those sold for $67.95. So my profit was $56.42. Here's a pair of Tommy Hilfiger prescription eyeglasses. These I also had a case to go with. See that? And I paid $3 for the eyeglasses in the case. So this pair of eyeglasses sold for $25.46 plus shipping, so my profit was $18.99. And here's a pair of Vogue eyeglasses. Um, these we found at a thrift store for $3, um, including the case. Actually, my son found these. So he's getting to have a pretty good eye because these sold for $59.95 and my total profit was $49.38. So definitely a good good find there. Here's a pair of Neo Style eyeglasses. These I paid $1.50 for, including the case. They had a case also. And those sold for $33.95. So my profit was $28.09. Here's a pair of Guess sunglasses. These are not prescription, just regular Guess um, sunglasses. They did have a case and a towel. Came with them. They were in really nice condition. I paid $3 for everything here, and they sold for $29.95 plus shipping. So my profit was $19.87. All right, here's a Farberware um, indoor rotisserie setup. Um, I find these a lot and they always sell really well for me. So if you see these, definitely pick them up. They do have a lot of different accessories and things that come with them. But if you just make sure you have the rotisserie pieces, like this this thing here is a motor, and you plug that in, and then you have to have the heating element, and you plug that in. So you have two power cords. This part here, and it's hard to make that out, but there's a, a piece that, a big long metal rod that plugs in there and then that's what turns your meat, basically. That's what the motor looks like, and then the element and different things. So just a lot of different pieces that you wanna make sure you have. But you can sell these without the rotisserie piece, this top part. You can sell them without that and just the grill with the heating element, just the bottom half too. Anyways, this one I paid $18 for all of this and it sold for $99.95 plus shipping. So my profit after all fees and costs was $68.54. And last but not least is an Eagle Scout paperweight. This I found just sitting on the shelf at a Goodwill for a dollar. It was with like candles and junk like baskets and things. I it was just sitting there. So I just put it in my basket. I didn't even look it up. I just figured I would just take a chance on it. And I'm glad I did because it sold really quick actually. It only took like a week or so to sell. But anyways, it sold for $29.95 and my overall profit was $27.42. All right, well that's it. That's all my sales um, for that two weeks, the last part of February. So like I said, I'm gonna get this posted and then I'm gonna do another one. And I'm gonna try to get um, several of them done this week if possible and posted. So. All right, um, thanks again for watching and take care.